Hey everybody, welcome back to XCOM. We're at our favorite place. It's the sewers. Spoiler alert. And uh, we need to get... What's his name? Carlos? A. Carlos? Angelo Carlos? To... This. We need to get there in nine-ish turns. Which could be challenging. Seems pretty far. Uh, he does have the weapon disabler, which is cool. Uh, he's also got a couple of other things here. So he can stalk if he wants. Uh, he can, he's got combat conditioning, which is cool. At the beginning of your turn, if no active enemies can see them, he re-enters concealment. It's nice, he's got impressive strength for all those grenades he's carrying. The extra HP is nice. Uh, gain plus two mobility and single target shots or strikes that kill their target and leave no active enemies remaining with line of sight to the unit will not break their concealment. Okay. Stalker and obviously between the eyes. So he's also got another big complement of HP here. Uh, Toaster, Red Dawn, both looking tanky. Musion, tanky. Weather Girl, tanky. Psychedelic, not tanky, to be clear. And Suave uh, could be tankier as well. Uh, so hopefully this goes well. Today's trivia question. <laughs> Sorry, I hate to laugh, but it's, yeah. <laughs> Which soldier holds the record for the most missed shots on a mission this season? You can type in your guess right now if you don't want to hear the options. However, here are the options. Play Six Wolf. Jacqueline Drax Winzel. Boulanger Toaster 42. Or Marshall Musion Schmidt. Let me know what you think. Today's uh, log comes from Shy Guy who's writing for Boltos. Has some questionable words for the commander. It's fine, I can take it. So I know the commander knows what he's doing. We probably wouldn't be here if he didn't. But sometimes the places he leaves us in on the field are questionable, to put it nicely. I mean, we all made it out alive, so I really can't complain, I guess. But uh, leaving me out in the open, staring directly at a gatekeeper with another soldier having a solid shot on me. All while I was reeling, while I reel in a Pathfinder to put him down. Well, I'd be lying if I said I was calm during that little exchange. Don't get me wrong, the commander has all of my respect and absolutely delivers results when needed, but I'd be lying if I said I hadn't walked away from the mission with a few questions on the positions he left me in. Yeah, you know, sometimes you gotta do questionable things for the greater good, you know? But uh, I think in that scenario that you're referring to, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Boltos had like over 20 health and a bunch of armor. I don't I don't think he was even killable with double crits, so I, I took the calculated maneuver. Now, let's do something, obviously. So we've got a lot of space on either side of us. Being that this isn't going to start ticking down until we reveal, I think we should head towards this section. Solid copy. Solid copy. This way we've, we only, oh, I thought I heard something spawning. This way we only have, um, you know, one kind of avenue to watch for. It does mean that potentially we could get flanked from this side at some point. But we'll see. Uh, you kind of need to be babysat a bit. Put you here for now. Red Dawn in. Musion's got the black flames. Oh, yeah, we should do maybe a quick little overview. So he's got black flames, damper field, and a plasma blaster, which is basically a null lance in weapon form. Uh, Weather Girl's got a frost bomb, a flashbang, defensive mine, blaster bomb, cloistered shielding. It's a free action, requires that we have two AP, so we have to do it first before moving. Uh, so I should probably get that set up for Let's next turn, or whenever we engage, I suppose. Um, we've got the solar flare here, acid canister, punch punch, boom boom. I think the rest of the build out is pretty standard. Uh, we went black flames on Musion. Oh, hello. Bunch of chrysalids. Look at all the chrysalids. Holy smokes. 
Oh, I hear something big. It, 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 is that... <laughs> is that what I think it might be? I Okay, so... I'm a bit confused because Sectopod Hunters can spawn in Annihilators, right? But I've heard something about Annihilators are maybe hidden. Oh, that's definitely... That's definitely got to be a big one, right? I, f I heard something that the Sectopod Hunters hide the Annihilators from the... Um, Shadow Chamber results. So, like, I'd be lying if I wasn't a bit concerned. This is pretty nice. I think I should take this. If I shield now... Yeah, that thing's coming in, and it's coming in hot. This doesn't look like it breaks concealment. Okay. Then I'm gonna, I think, quick burn and burn three of these and just get it going. Love that. In a perfect world, we can kind of take care of business here. And then, uh, do I just burn them again? I think so, hey? Um, you're, I might want your Overwatch. Whose Overwatch won't matter as much? Psychedelics will, but he needs to be revealed. So I actually, I'm going to take this shot. I've been detected. Okay. The only other person who can kill these all would be Red Dawn or Musion. Um, but I think this is the cleanest way. Because now I can now I can set up a bunch of people on a potential Overwatch. This is kind of an awkward position. I'm also worried that we move up and have other problems. So, yeah. Okay. Let's, uh... <laughs> Let's overwatch, I guess. Moving to overwatch. Moving to overwatch. Overwatch mode. I'm just hoping that they walk into us. They're right there. We can hear them. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. Okay, let's use our concealed unit here. Wow, okay. Interesting stuff. Servos engaged. So now we're kind of in a, a bit of an awkward scenario because we want to move up. Seems doable. Is it clear? But at the same time, we don't want to trigger them if possible. Oh, this is a nice little. I'm on it. Uh oh, we're triggering something. Oh, wow. Okay. Th that could be a problem. Whoa. That could be... <laughs> that could be bad. That could be bad. I have half a mind to come in here 
and set up for uh, for punches. I think we have to flamethrow these guys with Red Dawn. Looks like we hit that other one I couldn't even see, which is great. Only 65. Psychedelic has shot, but having an overwatch would be decent as well. I don't really want to mind control any of these. Thankfully, most of this enemy count does seem to be chrysalids. God, that looks cool AF. Damn. Now, if I overwatch, these guys are likely just going to take the kill. Or take the... Uh, break the shot, I should say. But I might as well take this. The Icarus armor, if we can get that, that lets us, like, float in the air, right? And then we would get death from above all the time if we time it correctly. I'm really worried about Angelo here. Uh-oh, here they come. Maybe? Wait. Okay. Okay, it's just the Sectopod Hunter. Okay, so it's not... Okay, 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 okay. Land it. Good try. Oh, I gotta get our I gotta get our resistance operative out of here, man. In a not so hot position. Mech could cause some problems here if he decides to shoot. Guys, simmer down. You're gonna be just fine. Let's disable the weapon. And then... Get you way back here. Okay, so this that's encouraging what we just saw. Wondering if this would be the time for an overdrive. It's pretty early. But I feel like we come in, uh, Lightning Strike here, and we would still have three actions then. Which would be a Punch, uh, maybe a, a Shield Bash to disorient the Lancer, and then maybe a, an Acid Canister up top or onto the, the other guy. this. Casual Chrysalid. Counter-Strike. Love that. Possible Seven damage, though, is no joke. Okay, so this is a kill. That'll grant him untouchable. Jeez, that damage. Okay. Now... We're gonna shield bash. I'm hoping this gets us a view of the sect- There it is. Nice, nice. Now, can Gilleth see that? Unfortunately, no. 
which does suck a bit. I could take a little mind control here, I suppose. Just to give them some other targets. Um, who would benefit the most from Soul Merge? 90 aim on Red Dawn, 73 there. Probably Red Dawn. Okay. Let's get her stacked. And we also have the Blaster Bomb. As a very viable option, if you ask me. Even up on, on him. I don't know, maybe I use it there. Okay, either way, we're gonna do this first. Now I'm so nervous casting Soul Merge on anybody. We also have a Blaster Bomb here, so maybe what we do is... Weather Girl, am I going to move you? I probably should. Heading out. The question is, I have to decide right now if I'm going to try and kill this Chrysalid. Oh, why is that being so sketchy? UI does not like the Frost Bomb. Maybe I go for the Rupture here. Or am I going to Blaster Bomb both? Or wait, hold on. I've got a bunch of Blaster Bombs. That's right, because these guys get that gauntlet. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. Uh, Musion, where am I going to put you? If I put Musion there, Red Dawn could come here. All right, I'll go. Yeah, that aim's nice. We could even. Get him right in there. For free. Okay, here, I'll tell you what. Because I'm going to dangle him. We're not going to do the mind control, I don't think. Ah, uh, no, maybe I will still. Hold on. Let's do this. I really wish that suit would get better armor. I mean, I could kill off the Lancer with the defensive mine, but we get more damage to these, and then Toaster could possibly kill them. Let's put this down. And then if we come here, we can Plasma Blaster our way right through those two. And then we don't have to worry about the Lancer. I still have an action with Toaster as well. Kind of depends. Oh, actually, with my Blaster Launchers now... We might be super solid. Oh, Blaster Bomb has a has a scatter. Oh, that's okay. That sort of changes things. Hold up. A very small scatter. If we don't move, which 
I should probably try and do. 0.56. I hope Toaster doesn't get hit here. Oh, that's actually showing him as possibly getting hit. Hope it doesn't. I mean, okay. I'll take that. Uh, Musion. We have options. have the rupture there. Huh. I'm just trying to think of, like, what's the best way to handle this? This is not cover anymore for some reason. But we are mostly against chrysalids. If I end up taking out the mech, I'm not super concerned. Or we could do one of these since I have so many. Actually, why don't we do this? Can I hit all four of these chrysalids? Well, that actually appears really nice. There's one chrysalid that's not getting hit there. God, he's got some nice butt cheeks in that suit. Oh, I found a faceless. Okay, I don't want to jinx things, but things are going pretty well here. Okay. Now, the Sectopod Hunter will explode. Lancer needs to die. I guess I'm just going to dangle Musion here. Which I don't think is, is much of a dangle. <laughs> Am I killing that mech? It sucks. It sucks for him to be there. He, he is... He would have to use explosives. And against these guys, that's fine. He's got blast padding. Toaster's got... HP. He could reload and shoot, but... I just feel like this guy is the... priority. And then we'll blaster bomb this group. Guaranteed kill off that hunter. Gotta start running! I just don't want anything bad to come of that. Might take something here. Okay. Uh, Faceless may run in. We can throw this down. God, we have just so many tools here right now. It's kind of wild. Uh, I can try this Frost Bomb again. I don't think I'm able to get it as far as I want. No. Do we have Phosphorus? Yes. Let's do that. That shreds. And then we should be able to pick this up. Now we got a couple Chrysalids around. Little... 
annoying. Let's see what they do. I think Angela Marshall might have been my fault, guys. That might have been a war crime. That's... Oh my god. These guys actually, like... <laughs> they put out a lot of damage. This is definitely gonna hurt. Or not. Uh, do we have the poison stims here? I do. I hope it's worth it. So do I have to do anything for that? These still confuse me. Uh anti venom. I think they just trigger automatically, but she still is poisoned. Oh, maybe not. Okay, so maybe they're gone now. Getting those enemies changed and having a billion chrysalids is certainly a nice little gift. Uh, we can try and get this on the next turn. Not quite enough. Fit. Still have so many mind control options. Um, we just need a shield bash here, and then we have untouchable. Now, there's still seven remaining. Uh, some of those were chrysalids that I've lost track of. Let's see if we uh oh oh Okay. Oh, shit. Okay, yeah, that's a little problematic. I'll take the burning, though. It's gonna enrage him, I think. No, not yet. Okay. Okay, so this would be frost worthy. Can I hit these two? <gasps> Maybe. Yes. That's a frost worthy frost right there, especially for a, a thrown one with a tiny radius. Absolutely happy to take it. Uh, Suave, I'm gonna put you here. Um, and I'll keep Angelo back for now. I just don't want him to get berserkered. On Overwatch. What's your will at? 59? You got 100 will. Let me have some of that. The one thing I want to learn uh, to do more frequently with the... Uh, psionically graded folk are to use the siphon more frequently as a way to maintain our will. God, those black flames are ridiculously good. Not quite dead. Here goes another 7 or 8 shielding. Oh, he's missing! Untouchable. I love that they're going for toaster. I'll take that all day. Rage suit panic. A little late, but... Ouch. 
Okay. So cover against this group uh, definitively does not matter. If I really want this one, ideally we take the other one. Where's Gilleth? What do you see? I actually, I should be trying to get him moved in, but... Does he have quick hands? Yeah. Copy that. Uh, he's got so many options for things to kill here. Wish I could hit that Berserker. I do want to give him an untouchable, though. Let's do this to make him the prime target for that Berserker. Oh, and he gets the other action, even. Amazing. Amazing. challenge is going to be... Oh, do I try and get this? Let's do this. On your order. Grab it with Weather Girl. I have the, asset. the real challenge is after we trigger things. So, we'll see how she goes. I could suppress him here. I don't think he's going to come for us. He's likely going for toaster. But I don't think it's a I don't think it's a horrible idea. Whatever you say. Okay, you're reconcealed. Uh two are remaining. I don't know where the other one is. Put you here. Getting it done. Probably a burrowed chrysalid somewhere. Ah, oh, unfortunate. Oh, is he not done? Or is that? Okay, that just happened later. Okay, damper field's down. I want to get in for the poison removal. I bet. I guess what I want there is some type of uh, identifier that that's happening. That would be helpful. Do I need to heal you? Sort of. Settle down, you're fine. Oh, 
he got the crit. Didn't expect that. I thought, we'll just disorient him. I didn't want to have to use the kinetic strike. Okay, now, I think what we want to do is set up people up top as much as we can. There's still one active unit. The trouble up top is cover. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, if this goes for my little guy at the bottom there, I'm going to be pissed. That was a really unfortunate time for that to happen. Oh, God. Wonder why that's happening. Let's get rid of that poison. Reload there, reload there. Ready to engage. Um, Gilleth. I mean, if they drop in back here, a little bit more annoying, but we don't know where they're going to drop. Double Bring you there. Reload. And yeah, take your time, Mujan. I appreciate it. He's a gentleman. He landed it. Okay, so I'm just going to make sure that everyone's reloaded. I can handle we'll take that full cover, uh, toaster, Moving. whatever. Red Dawn, whatever. Gilleth, reload. And he's already braced because he dashed. And then we'll uh, shut it down next turn. The Advent Network Terminal is shutting down. This is your last chance to secure the data. Mm, how greedy. Let's go greedy. <laughs> I think maybe if I... Maybe what I should do is not say that. What if I just didn't say those words before we hit the button? We're in. Menace one five. Status confirmed. Be advised. Advent transports are inbound. Firebrand cannot approach the AO. Secure the area and neutralize all hostile contacts. Okay. So. I'm on it. Oi, Vizions. On Overwatch. Nice view. I'm on it. Scanning for targets. Scanning beat. All right. I was. I thought like, I thought that happened on the turn that we did it, but I guess not. Uh, toaster needs to sit right in here. That's gonna get messy, and I like that. Seems to have here. I could probably come here and shield everyone. Oh, but I have to use it first, don't I? I could set... You know what? It's fine. I'll, uh... I'll set up here. Gilleth, we're just going to be overwatching. If this was Exalt, I'd be more concerned. Because they have the actions, right? Setting overwatch. Uh, do I set a defensive mine there? I'm tempted to put one down below to maybe get things that survive. I'm going. Do you feel like with her aim, maybe it's maybe it would have been better otherwise? But 
This is a total shot in the dark that they're gonna end up there, right? Scanning. Dude, what is going on? Okay. This is now two missions in a row where reinforcements are broken. Now, since the last time I played, there's only a handful of mods that have been updated. But as far as I know, none of those mods are involving reinforcements. But, like... Like... That is super, super weird. Like, reinforcements are just... Something... A mod had to have done something. I'll, I'll have to look into that. I was thinking it was maybe a one-off with the ruler last mission. But that is clearly not... Oh, wait, hold on. Maybe comms jamming is causing... That? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay, so... Okay, interesting. That is... I don't know if that's good. <laughs> that... Comms jamming, I think, is backfiring. Wow. Okay. Now we got a game. Fair enough. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. That that would happen. That would happen. Okay, well, we got one. <laughs> That looks like a pretty decent supernova option there. Ouch. Okay, well, at least it's working. That, that's good news. That shield bearer. What a loser. Okay. Okay. Couple things. Number one. Now would be a pretty decent time to mind control some stuff. I should probably clarity so it's free. Seventy percent not guaranteed. Got him. Okay. Now, we need to work through how we're going to handle this. Number one, I do have overdrive. I have disruption field to break all the overwatches. And by all, I mean those two. Uh, Supernova does 16. This guy's got 10 with 4 armor plus shield. So 15 plus shields, which means he doesn't die. Um... Some of the others don't either. But they would get really low. Which is probably good enough. And I could actually weaken them first. So I'm going to start there. We're going to figure that out first. So disruption field. We want the mech and the elite trooper shooting at us. That's fine. Are we gonna get the mech too? Not sure. Metal armor penetration. So we didn't get these. Um
gonna see if I can get it from over here. If I kill him off, then I can, like, supernova the group. I'm not going to be able to get him any action down on that other side. So now, I guess he supernovas these. It removes that shield. That's kind of interesting. I feel like this is maybe a little bit unnecessary. The honor guard is pretty solid. Let's do it. That's his most... I'm just looking for maximum damage output. Yeah, okay. So, sometimes that goes over, sometimes it doesn't. There we go. Okay. There we go. There we go. Either way, the big guy's down. But so is ours for the time being. Looks like a black flame job. Uh, I gotta get Psychedelic out of there. If I bring him up... He's exposed. We can always move him later. Now, if he braces... We still have a shot. 10 to 12 there. We so could pick up this Lancer. The problem is... So this burn that he's got, taking 4 damage over time and can't use most abilities, I think this is different burn than what's applied to our other guys. So I think... I could probably ignore him. Uh, Suave. I don't mind the steady burst fire here. Okay. So now we need to deal with the purifier, the trooper. And if I could weaken these two troopers, that would be helpful. I'm going to see if I can get the, the shot from here. Yes, I can. God, these guys, this team is absolutely stacked. This gives me a lot of, um, this gives me a lot of confidence. <laughs> X-ray neutralized. Death from above. Oh, and a promotion on that too. Love it. Could come out here to just get a pop shot on the purifier. Or I can go for the super safe disorient play. Or I can do a quick burn. I should blaster bomb this. If I move Red Dawn, is it clear? Target. 
I, oh god. <laughs> I find it funny that a blaster bomb can have that much uh, sway. Okay, so that the delayed comms jamming, I think, is what actually ended up making that more challenging at the end. Uh, but it was nice to just... We had so many tools available, man. That was... That was nice. Plus our enemy list by over-infiltrating uh, and it kind of changing. Having a billion chrysalids, that was... We never had that, so it was kind of cool. MVP on toaster, no surprise. Red Dawn, 4 for 4. Musion 105, Weather Girl 104, Psychedelic 89, Suave 44. The uh, the mind control didn't even really. I mean, it was one unit we didn't need to kill, I guess. Twenty years of peace and prosperity will not be undone by the reckless actions of a few misguided dissidents today. We stand with the elders. Trust in their wisdom, and we shall overcome this crisis. Hundred percent shots. Damn. Okay, very light wound times. A lot of people will be available for the big fight. Precision shot. Vector rifle or pistol here. Entering Overwatch with the sniper only requires one action. Yeah. Got a precision that. Cypher, get aft. Get aft. Level two on Wilson and Zaya? Yes. Okay. So this means that I think. We can go for that, this big black site mission now. <laughs> Finally. Uh, we're going to be taking our, our best, right? So I just need to make sure that we have a field medic. So suave, I guess, three days because she's shaken. Cool mother, we can't take. It's too long. Uh, Trell can come. Wolf, Toaster. Yeah, so basically we're going to wait for even Odin, 34 hours. Yeah, I think that's about it. So we'll hit the new month and we'll get this. Got an urgent communication coming in for you now, Commander. I Oops. had high hopes for the resistance under you. I got to make sure we don't click through too soon. Okay, major breakthrough. That could be a little problematic. That could be a little problematic. Let's reveal this. This one's temporary reducing retaliation. That's fine. Okay. Hmm. Like, Munitions Expert would be decent to have uh, equipped if we're going to start just spamming ammo. We could get rid of Between the Eyes. Like, we have the damage for loss. Lost are not really the issue, right? Let's do this. You are the boss. Okay. So, let's finish this. 
Strategic resource located. Holy crap, that's a lot. I don't remember those giving that much. That's a good scanning spot too, actually. So what are we looking at now? This has changed. Fireburster, Elite Trooper, Backburner, Lancer, Sectopod, Heavy Mech, Exalted Pathfinder, Hunter, uh, Beleaguer, Captain, Codex, Archon, Elite, Honor Guard, and Purifier. I don't know if um, the Sectopods could be there. Possible. There we go. We've made initial contact with the resistance operatives working in this area, Commander. They're going to show us how to get into the alien forge for Nina Verducci. Okay, so interestingly, something that will potentially have an impact here is that we don't have the Avatar Project uh, reduction. Now, we have that through our uh, cards, and usually we get it through there, but that means that we may have an alien facility to fight, right? Anyways, this site is definitely happening next. Just got to figure out if I need to... Yeah, 24 hours? Okay. So let me set up the covert ops. anybody that isn't going to come on this next mission that would come on the final mission that I want to boost. Are we going to bring Nosferatu? Maybe, maybe not. I think I'll give you the health. So I think I'd bring you on the final mission. We're going to, we're planning to take eight soldiers and uh, buff up the avatars and stuff. So it should be kind of interesting. Bastet, go. We will work hand in hand with our new Ability points. Dodge, I'm not going to worry too much. Superior weapon upgrades and PCSs are a must. More dodge. Understood, Commander. My followers will appreciate the support of your soldiers. Even more dodge? Raptor. Give her. Hypo. Disguises, good. We will begin the covert action immediately, Commander. Okay. Now, promotions-wise, let's see. 14 got 10 is super close, so it would be kind of wasted on him. <laughs> you know who deserves a promotion? Let me tell you. Probably Gillis. <laughs> Uh, it should probably be Gillith, honestly. Uh, he's only out for 22 more hours. Uh, I think we'll give it to Gillith. Experimental items. We'll get the job done. Don't worry, Commander. Uh, Intel job 2. I think we're using Intel job 1. This is not hugely important now, but... I mean, I might as well... Look at all these rewards are just all dodge. Are there mods to make mission rewards have more um, variability? Like these types of covert action missions? Oh, you should not be carrying that. Plasma Lance? No thanks. Our order is clear, and we will obey. Okay, so I will hope to remember that. 
Avenger we need to force. give Gilleth a promotion. Just waiting for Odin to come back and then we're good. Remove dark event for rural checkpoints. This is hampering our income a bit. I could look to take this after the mission. Even though, like, it's not a huge priority. So if we can get it, cool. If not, also cool. Okay. Koenig can go in while tired. Do it. That's this one expiring, right? Yeah. Is he still not back? Two hours. Gilleth is back. Oh, perfect. Gilleth. Uh, let me take your PCS. Go Limbo. My followers will leave this action to victory. Jeez. Facility lead we don't need. There's some Odin are a little worse and some flashbangs. <sighs> okay, guys. Time to rest, they'll be fine. It's time. Muton Harrier, Captains, Heavy Mechs, Sectopods. Sectopod, straight up. Okay. That's great. Setting course for sector Translation, uh, that is not great, by the way. Okay. I am going to build this out, and I'll show you what I come up with. One second. Okay, sorry, we need to get, uh, we need Barnaby back in 12 hours, so Avenger, let's fly over course. here and we will fly back, hopefully, without any problems. Because we do need a field medic. I knew there was somebody else I was waiting for. Okay, there's Barnaby. Asia. Okay, I'll build it. Okay, thank you for your patience. Uh, so, we've got a bunch of top level guys here ready to crush. There are 28 enemies listed. Uh, one of them is a sectopod. There's heavy mechs, there's muton harrier captains, there's specters, there's Andromedan backburners, there's pathfinders, there's beleaguers, there's, there's problems, definitely. Uh, so what do we have to mitigate some of these problems? First of all, uh, we've got the black ice rounds on six. We've got the blue screen rounds on Trell. I was going to bring acid grenades because they're pretty solid too. But having the Black Flame, being able to ripple and shut organic enemies down for a couple turns is super nice. So hopefully these and the Phantom Slayers are enough to deal with the big, big robot units. And the Black Flames can try to control some of the organic units. We've got the Plasma Blaster here. That's nice. I'm happy to see it. Uh, acid canister over here. I was thinking blue screen uh, canisters, but I feel like, again, we're kind of all in with these guys on mechanical stuff. Uh, so that just gives us a few more options. Uh, Suave, keeping the same 
Siamp, I believe. Domination, Mind Control, Soul Merge. Uh, Panacea we didn't get to use. I wonder if I'd be better off with like... A Stasis or maybe even a Marionette Control? We could look at that. I mean, some of the enemies are going to be pretty tough. Uh, disable, phase walk. Uh, I don't, I'm not ever going to try Acid Ball again, because when we did that, it didn't seem to actually work. Uh, we could try Marionette Control. We're kind of all in on, like, the mind control here, but... Yeah. Let's, uh, let's see how that works. I feel like... I don't know if we got to see what our chances were like outside of when Barrier was active. That's something that we need to be uh, at least trying and see what we can accomplish there. Uh, we've got the Renewal PCS, so he heals around him. It's a pretty good Psy Offense as well. Uh, if I wanted to really boost Psy Offense, I could go with one of these. Uh, Psionic Atrophy is a little scary. Spirit Thief is fine, but we have to be getting kills with Psionic uh, abilities. We don't have a lot of on him. And uh, Unstable is um, a little risky. So we could negate this with a Mind Shield. But again, just the amp that I'm using, I don't have it kitted out to be doing damage. I, th I think having him as more control base would, would be good. Uh, so lastly, he's got the Psionic Repeater, Beam Cannon here, Dark Lance, Energy Sweeper, uh, Shadow Lance on Odin. Odin's tanky. Uh, aim PCSs on Six and Trell. Tankiness on Musion. Dodge on Toaster and the uh, Psionic PCS here. So there we go. Guys, thank you so much. We're going to see you on the other side. Should be a nasty one. Uh, hopefully for the enemy, less for us. Bye for now.